and you thought driving and recording a podcast was unwise and dangerous. <sighs> this is probably something I'm going to have to stop to record because I don't think I can keep this up. <sighs> nice day for it though. Good morning, and welcome to Ravensthorpe, which is on the Kirkley cycle path, which is what I've been cycling up and down today, or this morning. Um, right, it's 97 days to go to San Diego Comic Con, and this is Bye Bye Comic Book Guy, episode three. Um, after last week, when I uh, ramped up the exercise regime <laughs> I had a bit of a slip it was always going to happen and I'm glad it's kind of happened first week or first month where I intended to eat better exercise more um, at which point uh, I went out for a meal with some friends uh, some Comic Con friends actually from the UK attendees group and had the biggest carvery on the planet. So much so, uh, my brain was swimming in gravy by the end of it. Um, so that was uh, me taking a bit of a nosedive to my plans. And not only that, but the day before, I'd uh, finally gotten the bike back out. I'd got a new inner tube in there. I'd uh, got everything kind of back in place. Um, at which point, like I say, a couple of uh, rather indulgent nights out, or certainly when it comes to the food, and it's felt like I'm back at um, stage one. I got the bike fixed, the new inner tube in there, and cycled it back for my mum's. And admittedly, it's a little bit of a, an uphill between Dewsbury and Cleckheaton. But not, not enough to completely wipe me out like it did. So, uh, yes, uh, kind of back to square one. But I'm on the bike. And I have had one or two bits of progress and certainly some advice. And that's what this vlog is going to be today. Because um, I spoke earlier on in the week to somebody who I'm hoping is going to be giving me some advice, uh, helpful advice on how to get into a help, uh, useful um, exercise regime, which is um, a guy who runs a site called The Jerd, which I'm not entirely sure what the contraction is. I, nerd is obviously in there, but uh, healthy um, is definitely the key to what he does. He basically does what I'm trying to do, which is um, educate and get nerds healthy and fit. So, um, his name is, well, he's, I'm guessing the contraction is J for Jeff. It's Jeff Mueller. And I ran a, a bit of a, a hangout interview with him earlier on this week where he gave me some helpful tips uh, to uh, improve my exercise regime and where I can get started. And uh, he certainly uh, put me right with uh, what I need to be doing first thing on the morning with cereals. Okay. First of all, um, I think it's probably a good idea to introduce yourself, Jeff, and tell me what is the Jerd? Okay, well, my name's Jeff Muller. Uh, I live here in the eastern coast of the United States, right outside of Washington, D.C. Um, and the Jerd is my pet project uh, that I put together, I think, on the fly on my way back from San Diego Comic Con two years ago. So I was sitting in the airport and I had had all these great inspirations from people like uh, Felicia Day and Sandy Parikh and Kevin Smith, I'd listen to all these conversations that they had and realized that I wanted to do something creative with my life, but I also wanted to inspire some of my friends that I knew were struggling with health issues. You know, so I, I've, I've been a geek my whole life, but I've also been active my whole life. You know, I played sports, 
um, been doing martial arts my whole life. I'm a little bit atypical when you talk about just stereotypical geek. Um, mm. Now, granted, I wasn't great at the sports I did, but I still played them. Uh, <laughs> So I started thinking, you know, my friends are getting older. They're all they're always complaining about, oh, I'm getting heavier. I feel like crap, you know, playing with my kids. I'm out of breath, things like that. And I said to myself, why not start something online where I can help my fellow geeks get healthier and more fit without it being so, without it being so dry and foreign. Yeah. You know? So I, I think as geeks we grow up and we avoid anything that seems physical in, in some regards. We're so focused mentally and we, we hone our minds and we're always in, immersed in these fantasy worlds and we're skipping gym class and we don't want to go outside and play sports with our friends. We'd rather read our comic books or play our video games. That once we get older, it's a daunting task to go back and become physically active again. So well, the jerd is just how I'm trying to help people break out of that shell and be a little bit healthier and a little more fit. Well, I think at Comic-Con as well, you see, that when you talk about the, the atypical kind of uh, nerd, um, they are very much people like myself. It's a little bit um, chunky around the midriff. Sure. It's, it's people who are kind of getting to around 3, 4 o'clock and struggling a little bit with the day. And I think right. that's... I, I think that's Certainly, um, kind of the the stereotype of of the nerd, mm. as it were. Um, but I think there's also, um, like you say, a, a space to kind of get yourself prepared for Comic Con, and I think that's sure. well, that's pretty much what I'm trying to do with Bye Bye Comic Book Guy. Um, what I've been following your website and looking through your website, the nerd, uh, sorry, the jerd dot com. Get it right, yes. the jerd dot com. Um, and I do really like um, one of the uh, the sections where you've actually listed like a, a bullet point, a, a kind of mission statement for um, getting everything um, everything prepared and everything right for uh, for uh, for a health regime. I quite like the we train smarter, not harder. Mm -hmm. I really like that as a as a as a mission statement. It, what do you, is that something that you feel that we don't do enough um, for as as nerds? Well, I, I think the reason why I want to put that there is because there's a misconception that in order to be fit and healthy, you have to live in the gym. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, a lot of people do that just out of ignorance. They figure, well, if I, if 45 minutes of exercise is good, then two hours must be great. And that's not always the case. Mm -hmm. um, so, as nerds and geeks and people who do train our minds, I, I think it's important that we be smart about the way we train. I, I think that in order to find a good healthy life balance so we can still enjoy all the geeky things that we love in life, we want to minimize the time we're spending in the gym and exercising so that we do have time to play video games, read comic books, play board games with our friends, watch movies, things like that. So I, I think that it's just a, an important way to approach training. Plan things out well ahead of time and yeah. be efficient with them so that you can succeed quicker and uh, with better results. Absolutely. I mean, I quite also like the, um, the, the section in that list as well where it says, um, basically, we need to... Uh, <laughs> I've got to find it because the way you word it is fantastic. Um, it's basically about getting out of the chair. And you oh. actually put it's capital T, capital C. It's really <laughs> kind of... That is the, the big bad when it comes to um, us nerds that we do like to play our games, we like to um, sit and read our uh, comics and watch our TV and instead of kind of every once in a while stepping away from that, that, com com that comfort zone and get, ex um, get um, physically fit out of the chair. Oh, without a doubt. It drives me insane when my friends complain that their backs are hurting or their knees hurt or things like that and yet I know for a fact they went to their job, worked in front of a computer for eight hours go home, sit down on a couch for another four hours and watch TV and play video games, and then magically they're like, why does my body hurt? Hmm, I wonder why. Could it be because you sit all day? Sitting is one of the worst things we can do for our body, and it drives me nuts because as geeks, that's all we do. Yeah. So sad. Yeah, I know. Right, so I'm now two weeks into my, li not life change, but certainly my change of uh, lifestyle. And Good. Trying to get things um, into some kind of uh, 
get something, some kind of shape for Comic Con 2014. Sure. Now, um, I posted a couple of videos, mm -hmm. and I show, I said about my initial steps, which is getting some, uh, doing some planking, uh, some planks, and some um, bicep curls, and some changes to the diet. At right. which point, you then sent me a message um, along the lines of, "Okay, we have some work to do." So, if um, somebody watching this is wanting to make a 100-day change as we get ready for Comic Con 2014, we're 99 days now. We're we're, we're pretty much on right. that uh, final path now. What would be the ideal building block blocks to get started for someone getting fit for uh, for Comic Con this year? Okay, so. The essential three building blocks, in my opinions, are is to eat clean, be conscious of how much of said clean food you eat, and exercise. In that order. That's the order of importance. So a clean diet, utmost importance. So you definitely consider food to be the, the first building block. Hands down. It's your, it's your fuel. You can exercise all you want, and if you're eating you know, fast food and McDonald's and processed foods and whatever else, you might see a little bit of progress, but you're still going to feel like crap. Your energy levels are going to be poor. You're, you're not going to get the return on investment that you're making with the exercise unless you're fueling your body correctly. And that's where most people fall down. Most people tend to think that it's the exercise first is the most important. It's your diet. So you get those three things going, you will succeed. I guarantee it. Okay, well, I've, I've scrapped the McDonald's out of my uh, diet. Um, that, is, that was one of the first things that went. Um, and I've um, tried... One of the, the, the big rules or one of the, the, the things that I've been hearing a lot is very much a case of little and often. So it kind of allows your metabolism time to get a regularity going. Is that yes. something... Is, yeah, is, that, is that right? Well, it, it's hard to say right. Everyone's body is different. Mm. Uh, I tend... I lean towards that as a method that works for most people. Some people it doesn't, but as a general rule of thumb, I think that's a good starting point. Shoot, shooting for five, five, maybe six small meals a day, I think is the best way to go about it. And if after doing that for a little while you're not seeing results, maybe trying a couple of larger meals a day instead and seeing if you're one of the few body types that that works for <laughs> is the way to go. But I'd say most people do see success with fewer meal, few small meals throughout the day. Um, just kind of a breakfast, a, a, a pre-lunch small snack, like a piece of fruit, then a small lunch, then another small snack, another piece of fruit, or maybe a handful of almonds or some jerky or something like that or a hard-boiled egg, then a, then a real dinner, and then maybe something small right before they go to bed to keep their metabolism burning through the evening. Sure. Okay. Um, so I've been signed up or have signed up with um, a snack company, which mm -hmm. is going to be sending me these boxes of um, nuts and uh, fibers and bits. And I have no mm -hmm. idea actually what's going to come in this box. I'm very curious to see what actually will arrive. Um, is are they things to to introduce? Would you say? I mean, what what would what things would you introduce to somebody getting started then? Getting started, that mm. sort of stuff is great because fitness and health is an iterative process. What works for what's going to work for me, who's been eating clean for years, and maybe I want to tweak something. What I do is going to be completely different than someone who's been living on McDonald's and is just starting out. You know, so as a beginner, changing up snacks like that, a great idea. And I believe the company you're referring to is? Graze.com. I think they also do um, supply in the U.S. as well. They do. I, I get them. I get a weekly box from them myself. Oh, wow. Okay. I, I, I love their stuff. Now, all of it isn't, isn't healthy. It's what I refer to as healthier. It's better than getting a bag of crisps or, you know, eating some cookies or biscuits or anything like that. Uh, but it also isn't health food. It's a right. nice, happy medium. You know, it'll satisfy your sweet tooth. The ingredient list is short, not a lot of preservatives. It's all very fresh. And most of them are, you know, 100, 150 calories, which is perfect for a small snack in between meals to tide you over and keep your metabolism burning. Okay. So I think that's a great step for you. Excellent. Okay, so um, is there anything else that um, I should do with diet 
Um, because is there any food groups that I, I mean, anything I really should kind of introduce? I mean, I've been doing my best to, I really have been trying my best to do my five a day. Um, the, the, the five pieces of fruit a day. I really have been trying. That's good. Okay. So, uh, to me, here's the basics of healthy eating. Okay. Lots of, do you want to go wait until no, go, no, go on. Go on. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sat here going, go on. <laughs> All right. So the basics of healthy eating, as far as I'm concerned, are lots of fresh and colorful fruits and vegetables. Lots of them. More than you probably think are appropriate. Uh, lean proteins. So that's your chicken, uh, chicken breast, you know, white meat, chicken, uh, turkey, fish, uh, salmon is great, uh, yeah, tuna in small moderations just due to mercury content. Uh, but lean cuts of fish, shrimp is excellent, um, you know, shellfish is good. Uh, so you get your lean proteins, also things like raw nuts, not roasted nuts, not <laughs> roasted peanuts or almonds, things you know, salted. Raw almonds are a great, great snack, quick handful of those, lean proteins. A small amount of whole grains, I'm not a big proponent of eating a ton of grains. Right. But I'm also not one of those people that says cut them out altogether. I think it's important to have them as long as they're healthy whole grains. So a small little bit of brown rice with a meal or you know, some real solid whole grain bread, uh, I think that's good. And minimal dairy. You know, we need calcium in our diet. And yes, you do get it through vegetables, but I think a cup of yogurt now and again is good for you. Um, for me personally, that's my, that's my before... I go to bed snack a lot of times. It's like a small cup of Greek yogurt uh, just to keep my metabolism going and satisfy my hunger pangs. And the most important thing is that the food that you eat should look like it looked when it came out of the ground or it should look like it looked when it ate the food that came out of the ground. Right? Food, does not, food does not occur in nature in a box, in a cellophane wrapper. Uh, it does, if it's processed and it has more than, I'd say, five or six ingredients in the ingredients list, don't eat it. Okay. Follow those rules, and you're going to be solid. Excellent. Because I've also I've been um, eating a lot of, um, well, I've been trying um, to eat a lot of, uh, well, chicken breast, but I've also been mm -hmm. uh, eating it with um, with rice. So chicken and rice I've been um, sure. uh, having as, uh, as, as a main meal mm -hmm. on an evening. I, I, I hope that's... Um, it's going to be suitable enough for a main meal at the end of the day. It should be. I, I don't hear any vegetables in there, though. Um, that is what I've been eating during the day. I've been okay. right. snacking on vegetables and um, uh, bits and pieces like that throughout the day. Fair but, enough. Okay. I will introduce more vegetables, I promise. Okay, right. So that's number one. Number two is exercise. Um, I don't know if anyone caught um, some bits and pieces of posts that I put up over the course of the weekend just gone, which was a very busy weekend. I actually did some in-store uh, DJing and presenting MC work for um, uh, for Reebok here in the UK. Oh, nice. Uh, on their uh, in-store uh, promotions. And um, there was a whole tribe of very fit-looking people Um doing exercises with um, people coming through the doors in stores and it made the two weeks that I've done look particularly tame um, with what I've done. I, I thought I was building up nicely for um, a, a nice exercise regime but it looks like that perhaps I need to take it up a notch. So what do you, I mean how many times a week and what kind of intensity do I need to be looking at with 100 days to go, just getting started. My recommendation is when people are just getting started to do three, maybe four days a week and a solid 30 minutes of high intensity exercise. Now, the reason why I say high intensity, one, a, big, a big myth in my opinion in, in getting fit is people think cardio, cardio, I need to run, I need to jog, things like this. Yes, that getting your heart rate up and improving the health of your cardiovascular system is very important but you you can do it while you're doing muscle building exercises as well and this goes back to what we talked about earlier about we want to train smart yeah. so rather than spend half an hour on a treadmill or a half an hour running and then do 45 minutes of strength building exercises why not just do your strength building exercises at a pace 
that ups your heart rate like it would have had you been running. So that's what I mean by high intensity. Uh, I think that's a great start. Anything more than that in your first couple weeks, soreness might be a problem. So I like spacing, spacing it out so that you have a recovery day where you can just spend your time maybe doing some light stretching or maybe going for a, a, a walk or a jog or things like that in between your workout days. Mm -hmm. But definitely three to four times a week, 30 minutes minimum. Uh, you should be a sweaty mess at the end of your 30 minutes, in my opinion. And you should feel it the next day. If you're not sore the next day, you're being a little bit of a pansy. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I think you might be right there. I got the bike out for the first time in mm -hmm. quite a considerable length of time. Okay. I finally got the uh, new inner tube in there and got the bike all uh, tuned up and went back out on the bike for the first time yesterday. Uh, cycled for about 45 minutes. Nice. Yeah, 45 minutes to an hour. And um, let's put it this way. I'm kind of struggling to sit down at mm -hmm. this point talking to you. Um, very A little bit saddle sore, but I'm hoping that um, that's going to kind of disappear the longer I do, oh, yeah. some, do some more uh, cycling. So um, what I've been doing is um, uh, planks. Uh, okay. I've also been doing bicep curls as well. Okay. Um, is there any other exercise? Because the other thing, um, I don't know if you spotted this. I, I know for a fact that you probably will have done. Um, something I'm going to be talking about in my next vlog, uh, which is the exercising like a superhero. Um, I don't know if you saw these. They were like... Um, uh, I did. You, you saw them, okay. I, ha I have. You have, okay. Is They, they were um, themed around superheroes and... <laughs> okay. No, they, they are, and, and they're great. They're great beginner workouts as long as you have someone that can help you with the form. Really? So, so some of those exercises, if you've never done them before, uh, it might be better to... And let me rephrase. You might want to supplement that by going on YouTube and finding a video demonstration of the exercise because sometimes the static photos you think you know you think you're doing it right and maybe you're not so supplement but they are great they are great mini workouts to do yes okay um, right so I've been doing planks I've been doing some bicep curls any other say two or three exercise types that I should I could do because I think the vast majority of nerds are wanting to um, it's all belly a uh, little bit of the uh, the well that I think that I think will disappear when with the diet I think that's more diet so it's more upper body strength and the belly so what would you recommend three, well, say, first, go on. first off it's important to understand that you can't target fat loss okay. so the belt abs are made in the kitchen that's a that's a saying that's tried and true diet and eating clean the fat will shed off your belly Okay. okay. E exercise is just helping you burn calories over the entirety of your, of your system, uh, not just in one area or another. So you don't need to target that. Um, I, I, that's another common misperception. Like, oh, I want to, I want to trim down my stomach, so I'm going to do a ton of crunches. I'm going to do a ton of planks. I'm going to do a ton of, you know, a ton of flutter kicks. You don't need to. Just overall body exercise, and it'll trim down naturally. Um, at-home exercises using your own body weight, I think, are great. So planks are a great core workout. Uh, Push-ups, squats, lunges, burpees, chair dips. Um, you're already doing bicep curl. So those are good. Uh, oh, there's so many. Knees to chest. Uh, you could do if you like this. If you like the superhero theme, you could do exercises called Spider Mans and Supermans, which are great. Uh, there's there's so many Versa climbers, mountain climbers, a ton of them. Now I'm a big proponent of at, for beginners doing body weight exercises because you can do them at home. You don't need to join a gym. You don't need any of equipment, and you can get a good solid base so that your muscles are used to the trauma of working out and then you can introduce weights into the equation. Uh, I think preparing for Comic-Con though specifically very important is going to be your legs. You walk all the time at Comic-Con. It's just a non-stop walk fest. So squats and lunges are going to be your best friend. I was, kind of, I, was, I was kind of hoping the cycling was going to take care of that. It, it'll help too. <laughs> cycling will help too but it Unless you're doing it at a very low gear and you're hitting a lot of hills, you're not going to get a lot of resistance training. So 
it's going to build up endurance, but it's not really going to build up the muscles in your legs. Uh, and we do want to increase muscle mass. Increasing muscle mass just in general increases the amount of calories you burn naturally sitting down by increasing your metabolism. So you will burn fat faster. So building muscle is key. Okay. So there you go. Diet is certainly key number one to getting things back up to uh, speed. When we actually um, finished the uh, Hangout interview, we actually talked about myself uh, saying that I'd gotten back into the habit of eating cereals on the morning to start the day off, at which point he kind of shook his head and said, no, that's probably not a wise idea because the things they do to cereals to keep them nice and crunchy uh, for longer is uh, uh, coat them and cover them in all sorts of horrible things. So not a wise idea. So uh, no, I'm on nuts and some kind of fruits and yogurts uh, to start with on a day. But certainly back to uh, getting things kind of to normal with my diet. And diet, I think, is definitely what I'm going to be doing. Next week, I'm going to be looking at something which I um, mentioned in the uh, interview, the uh, superhero exercise regime. Now, um, Jeff also does uh, a couple of uh, exercise regime posted on thejerd.com, including one he posted this week, which was something to go alongside uh, The Avengers, coincidentally, um, which is uh, a kind of exercise bingo. When something happens on screen, then you're supposed to do something uh, in an exercise manner. It's something I suspect to do in about three weeks time perhaps because uh, <laughs> it's quite intense I think for a beginner as are some of these other uh, exercise regimes I've uh, come across but I'm going to cover those next week because uh, as of this weekend Easter weekend I'm definitely going to be knocking uh, the exercise regime up and up a notch um, starting with the bike so yes time to get myself uh, Back on the road, I suspect. Have yourself a fantastic long Easter weekend. Don't overindulge. And um, yes, I'll see you next Thursday. <laughs>